Hi, Reverend Lunch Lady here, also known as Love Coach Macy. I wanted to reach out and share with you some tips that I'm using for myself right now in the midst of this coronavirus fear. And so I thought I would share them with you just in case it's beneficial for you too. And as you can see, I'm hunkered down with one of my best, most comforting tools is time with my animals. This is uh, Miss Chubby Texas taking a nap on my lap. This is Waffle, who you'll probably hear snoring in a few seconds. And this is Carl Johnson of Carl Johnson Insurance. And we'd like to thank Carl for sponsoring this little video today. So, so whatever it is you are experiencing right now, I just want you to know that um, I'm with you and here to support you. And, and so I'm hoping this will be helpful because I know for me that I've, I, I tend to get swooshed away in a lot of the emotional stuff that can happen in the world. And it's taken me a lot of my own personal development to learn about how to be with my emotions and support myself in different ways so that I'm not taxing my nervous system, I'm not weakening my immune system. So when I can do that, I notice that I am having a lot more fun in my life, no matter what comes my way. So, you know, here we are in a time that we've never really experienced before. So here are the things that I want to share with you. And just please know that I'm not saying that whatever you're fe feeling is not correct. Like there's no right or wrong or good or bad. There's just an opportunity to um, try out some different ways of being with this that may or may not be helpful. So the first thing that I've been saying to myself is, you know what, I'm just gonna do the things. We're following the protocols. I've had many events canceled, postponed, that were you know, out in the world. There's a lot of things that I typically would do. I'm, I'm not necessarily doing, I'm just not going out, but I'm not not going out. So um, if you do go out, just be conscious, wash your hands, do the things. That's what I keep saying, I'm doing the things. Um, and also trusting your awareness. So if you have a sense that, you know what, I'm not feeling like I should go to the grocery store right now, then just don't trust your awareness. It will guide you. Um, the second thing that I'm doing, so the first one is doing the things. The second one is noticing how you show up in, the, in times like this. Um, I can recognize that in the past, I've definitely been kind of the person that sort of likes getting in the, the drama, like in talking about it and, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Oh, but I heard this. And like, in a way, kind of likes the feeling of having information other people didn't have. And as I am aware of that, I realize that what that creates is just kind of more of the chaos and and the fear and the alarmist stuff. So I'm choosing to not do that. And I've actually been choosing to not do that for a while and then this happened. So I've been practicing, so it's a lot easier. But I would consider and just notice what you do. Because if you're doing that, then in a way you're kind of spreading the fear. And if we can be, something different, then perhaps we can spread something different that is inviting people to a different way of being. Because it can be just sort of a defined thing where we think, oh, well, everybody else is panicking. I should panic. Well, what if you didn't? 
you know, what else can you choose? So noticing what you typically do and, and even being able to be so honest with yourself and like, you know what, I kind of, I kind of was feeding off of that. That was kind of fun for me. And maybe find some other way <laughs> to have fun because what we focus on, what we put energy in actually does expand. And right now, you know, what the world really needs is a lot more healing and, uh, and less panic. So first one, do the things. Second one, noticing how you're functioning. Um, and then the third one is, oh, the third one, snorry, snore. Um, the third one is, um, I've also decided that I was going to be pretty aggressive with myself in having a no tolerance zone for fear. So anything that you know, was coming into my space that was generating fear is completely not welcome. So it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not, I'm like, la, 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 if people are saying, oh, I'm worried about my dad or whatever. No, but it's that I don't have to buy into other people's drama about it. I don't have to take it on. And I also get to be aware of that, you know, as beings, all of us have the capacity to really sense emotion on the global level or in their communities or even with our partners or friends, that it's up to us to begin to ask, well, is this even my fear? Like, is this mine? Or am I aware of a bigger fear? wave that's happening because obviously it's happening and you know just by asking is this mine is this mine can be a really helpful question to start letting it dissolve but you know for me i decided that it was important because as people talk about health things around money things around business things and all of the different areas that people are aware or are freaking out about basically i am not choosing to go there i'm not choosing to go there it's a no fear zone and so many of you may be saying well you know how can you do that are you just bypassing are you you know whatever well it's i'm making a choice hello <laughs> i'm making a choice to I'm making a choice for myself because I know that that works well. And you know what? I've been feeling really great about it. Um, the next one, I already lost count, is um, how can you be somebody else's miracle? So considering, you know, the things that are happening, if you're worried, oh, maybe I won't have, um, enough business. Maybe I won't have enough food. Maybe I won't have enough toilet paper. Whatever the thing is, can you be that solution for someone else who might have the fear even more or be concerned about it more? I'm not freaking about it, but I am also aware that, you know, okay, I'm aware of the fear. So what can I do to support people in in having a different reality for themselves right now that's gonna actually keep their nervous systems and their immune systems stronger or give them information that'll support them in a different way or give, a, give people a different point of view or different perspective, different ideas that then they can choose or not. So that's what I'm doing here is offering some tips. So. The um, next one is actually noticing what's here. Noticing what is here that maybe you've been asking for. How many times 
have you asked for having some space, having some time to just relax your body, having the time to crochet that blanket you've been wanting to make, having the time to have more quality time in your home, maybe having the time to reorganize or or decorate or paint a painting like what is available right now that you've been praying to be able to do or have and maybe this is time to even do some inner work read that book or do some exercises get on YouTube or even um, get some healing support that you weren't making time for before um, and so along that line, that apparently is number five, um, along that line, you know, for those of you out there, I know a lot of people in my community are single women who are wanting to have a relationship, but whatever it is that you're wanting to create, like, what can you learn about right now? Um, just a side note specifically on dating my sense is there's going to be a lot of people online because this is how we connect right now so if you're wanting to meet someone maybe there are maybe this is the time to learn how to navigate that online world and i have plenty of teachings around that if you would like that or if you'd like to jump on a, on the phone and talk about um what you could do to actually get better at that because a lot of people are online people if you're single and you want a relationship this is an amazing time to start using this space to connect with people connect with people and then as this blows over which it will we can come back out into the world in a completely new way in fact i don't think there's any way that we can't be different from all this and that likely is a really good thing so what is that future that you are creating in this space is it a love relationship is it different aspects of your business is it a book that's coming through you is it just amping up that your creative juices that will actually nourish and feed all of the other spaces that you are working in right now or playing in so i hope this was helpful i guess i'll summarize really quick the first one is doing the things following your awareness about what to do but washing your hands and all the things you know the things and then the second one is just noticing how you function. Is this an opportunity to change the way you respond in the world and be, um, be something that actually is feeding what you want to be, do, or have? So rather than going into the gossip and fear and defaulting to that, what do you notice about what you do? And maybe this is an opportunity to change that because all you need to do is choose. And the third thing was the no tolerance fear zone. I highly recommend that. The fourth thing is be the cure for someone else, be the miracle for someone else. Who do you know that if you're freaking out, they might be freaking out more. Give, give them a call, reach out, drop off food, whatever you can do. Um, and then finally, how have you been praying for this and asking for this? And how can you actually receive the gift that this time and space is for you? What is that miracle that this space is creating for you? And are you willing to receive it right now? So thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. And reach out to me if I can support you in any way in creating love, creating more uh, joy and abundance in your life. I would love to support you. Okay, see you really soon. Bye.